if you're currently going through it, the wilderness season and the valley of darkness, and it feels like death right now, well, I just want to say congrats because life is about to get better. Life is about to get really good. I was reading my Bible this morning, and for some reason, this Bible verse was speaking to me. And usually when a Bible verse speaks to me, that's because I'm currently going through a particular situation that matches the scripture that I'm reading. Because you guys have to remember that the word, the word, the Bible is alive. It's real. It's real time. It speaks to everything that we are going through in this life on this earth. And that's why we got to stay in our word. Let's whip out our Bibles. In Isaiah chapter 42, verse 17 through 20, it says, When the poor and needy search for water and there is none, and their tongues are parched from thirst, then I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will never abandon them. I will open up rivers for them on the high plateaus. I will give them fountains of water in the valleys. I will fill the desert with pools of water. Rivers fed by springs will flow across the parched ground. I will plant trees in the barren desert. Cedar, I'm gonna butcher this word, acacia, acacia, myrtle, olive, cypress, fir, and pine. I am doing this so all who see this miracle will understand what it means. That it is the Lord who has done this, the, the Holy One of Israel who created it. Let's run it back. I am doing this. God is doing this. God is allowing you to go through this dry, parched, thirsty season. So when the miracle happens, the promise that I just read to you guys, the fountains of water in the valleys, the pools of water, it's gonna happen. It's a promise that God already made to you. So all who sees this miracle will understand what it means that it is the Lord who did this. You're going through what you're going through because ultimately God's gonna get all the glory. The miracle can't hit quite the same if what you're going through is just mediocre, if it's nothing, it's just first world, first level problems, okay? I know it sounds pretty bad. God, I'm tired. When are you going to show up? When are you going to pop up with the miracle? Because I'm, I'm tired of going through it. But honestly, you guys, it is in the wilderness. That is when you experience God the most. That is when you can't even deny. The haters, unbelievers can't even deny that it was God. Just imagine if you're going through a situation, you lost a job, you experienced death, you went through a heartbreak, and then all of a sudden, God just heals you, blesses you. I mean, it, it does happen for some people, the lucky ones. You did not go through any character development, any character arc. You didn't learn anything. You didn't go through the fire. God couldn't even purge you or refine you to have the wisdom and the knowledge that you should have had by going through that tough season, okay? And then on top of that, now you're just gonna say, oh, I, I did it on my own. If it was that easy, if he just gave it to us, we would just give all the credit to ourselves. This is how God is gonna get all the glory. You're gonna go through your trials and tribulations. You're gonna learn many lessons. You're gonna change as a person. You're gonna grow stronger through this. How do I know this? Because it happened to me. As much as I did not want to be the vessel that goes through all these trials and tribulations and obstacles, God said, you are qualified, Christy. God said, Christy, you are the one. You are the one because look at where I'm at now, you guys. I am here talking to you guys about my journey and what I went through. When I was going through a terrible heartbreak and the loss of my father and the loss of my and identity and the loss of everything I once had in California and I had to come back home and move to my mother's house, I was down bad. I was so down bad. But in that season, I look back and I'm like, dang, I'm so grateful. Like I would go through that again, 100%. Because through that season, I got to know God and I got to experience so many miracles, things that like should not have happened, happened. Like randomly getting money, randomly getting checks here and there. My goodness, my social media blowing up. Like that was a goal of mine. And it was because I was sharing my testimony online and I made a promise to God that 
you know, if you take care of me, God, which he always is, like, I'm going to continue talking about you. I'm going to continue praising you. And I'm going to continue telling your children about how you moved in my life. And God has continued to bless me and blow, blown my mind continuously. So just imagine had I not had that character development, that arc in this season of, in in that season of my life, like I would not be the Christy I am today. I, I wouldn't know God. I wouldn't know love. I wouldn't know anything. So I'm telling you guys that you are going through this dark season, this tough season, this wilderness season, because in a few more seasons of the series, you're going to be on top. So congrats. You're going to come out 10 times better than how you came in. You're already going through right now. So you might as well be happy about it. Because it tells you in scripture, all the promises. He has like so many promises for us in this word, in the Bible. Isaiah 43, verse 2 to 4. Do not be afraid, for I have ransomed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. You're God's. You're God's child. He's not going to forget about you. When you go through deep waters, when you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. Y'all, I can't swim. But knowing that if I if I swim through some difficulties, my my God got me. He's he's a what do you call it? The life raft. Okay. Look, when you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you. For I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I have Egypt as a ransom for your freedom. I gave Ethiopia and Seba in your place. Others were given in exchange for you. I traded their lives for yours because you are precious to me. You are honored and I love you. God loves you. He explicitly said it right here that he loves you. So stop tripping. Stop bugging out. Stop freaking out. Yeah, things are tough right now. Yeah, you got... Your account is being overdrafted. Yeah, you lost a boyfriend, girlfriend. Yeah, your family's going through it. But look, months, years from now or whatever, you're going to look back and you're going to share this testimony to someone else that's that needs to hear it, like I'm doing for you guys today. Just look at all the things that you guys have gone through in the past. You're still here. You're still alive. You learn, you gain so much wisdom and knowledge from that experience. You are a better person from everything that you have gone through. You are where you are today because of the events that you went through in the past, whether it may be good or bad. I remember I used to cry in this room here that you guys are looking at. Girl, I was on the floor boohooing, crying, crying my heart out to the Lord, asking him why, why me? I look back and I can laugh. I can smile. I cherish those dark times because it makes me appreciate the current season I am today so much more because I went through that dark season. Those events did not happen to me. It happened for me. Like I always say, there is purpose in your pain. You probably can't see it now because girl, I did not see it back then, but I see it now in hindsight. And I know it is so much easier said and preached. Use me as a testimony. Girl, I was depressed. I wanted to unalive myself. I did not want to be here. I woke up every day not feeling like waking up. I woke up wishing that I, it would just all end, but The more time I spent with God and reading his promises over and over to me, I realized like, dang, the stuff that I'm going through led me here. If God didn't abandon you back then, what makes you think he's going to abandon you now? I hope this little short message encourages anyone out there going through a tough, rough, rocky season. Congrats. Your miracle, your breakthrough is around the corner. I know it sucks right now, but it has to suck this bad for you to know that the bigger the attack, the bigger the blessing, the bigger the breakthrough, the bigger the miracle. And there's no way you can say it was all you. It has to be this bad for it to be that good. Not just for you to witness, but the people around you, your friends and family, there's no way they they can say, oh, it's just coincidence that happened. Oh, you know, it's not God. No, 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 no. It has to be this. It has to be this deep for God to get the glory. Because he's like, look, you're going through it right now, but guess what? The other side is going to be that extravagant, more than a coincidence. It will be an act of God. It's going to be bigger than anything we could ever imagine with our little human minds. 
okay yeah be happy celebrate because you're about to experience a breakthrough a miracle congrats so i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you to all my og subscribers and my new subscribers for following along on this faith walk my journey with christ i'm not perfect i'm not a saint so remember you need to get to know god on your own it's cool to watch you know other people's testimonies and their little youtube videos my little youtube videos but it hits quite different when you talk to the Lord yourself, okay? I hope you guys continue to follow along with my journey, my walk with Christ. It's only gonna go up from here. Just watch.